Check, check, check YouTube. You're probably like, who is this guy? I didn't subscribe to this guy. Why is he on my page? I thought I subscribed to Drew, not Drew in his forehead. Shit, yeah, I got a buzz cut. Uh, kind of came out of a place of like impulse. I don't know, I've been doing the hair system. If you've been watching my hair loss journey and like that's been great. I haven't had any complaints, honestly. Like it's just once a week, like the maintenance isn't that high. But I was just like, I need no maintenance right now. It did kind of come out of like a kind of like mentally ill space, but I just wanted it all off my head and it feels so good, dude. Oh my God. Sorry, I'm faded. I I, I I was gonna make a... I woke up this morning, I came back to Texas again. I went out to California uh, for my last video and then I came back to Texas again. Dude, I go out there and like, I don't know what it is, man. When I first dropped out of college and moved to LA, I was mentally stronger, bro. Like, mental illness has low-key battered my ass since then. And like, you know what, sue me. I need a support system. I'm all for, like, if you have a dream just to go to a new city, like, fuck yeah. Something doesn't work out for them, like, that doesn't make them weaker or inferior. And it's like, Nah, I just, I have different needs. You know what I mean? Like, I think life is too short and limited to like separate yourself from everyone you love. Like, can there be a middle ground? You know what I mean? Like, can there be a middle ground between like hopes and dreams and focusing so hard on one aspect of your life that you neglect? The most important, in my opinion, part of life. Like, seriously, dude, why do I have it on my fucking knuckles? Like, love is that one thing that transcends all. It's innate, it's built into us. It's a spiritual principle. Whether you're spiritual or not, that's just one way to label it. Love is universal. And in my opinion, it's one of the most, if not the most important principle of life. I was talking to someone the other day and I was just like, in a time like now where there's so much terrible, scary, uncertain shit going on. We need to like start focusing on things that transcend the systems that we live under. You know, like when you wake up every day, what do you gotta do to make money? You gotta go to work. You gotta go to the grocery store afterwards and purchase all your fucking survival items. Like all these little systems that we live under on a day-to-day -day basis that affect our psyche so much. If not now more than ever, we need to focus on things that transcend these man-made systems. Now's not the time to be like, all right, I'm gonna double down and get my bag. In my opinion, like I'm gonna pick up more hours and focus harder on work like no let's focus harder on like the things like that matter not saying work doesn't matter we can all infuse purpose and meaning into our work but the principles man like love compassion empathy going out in nature connecting with mother earth this is literally our guard this world we were literally fucking evolved and bred through thousands of years into human beings with consciousness and the depth of our consciousness the ability to question and ponder things and want to build systems and improve on them and right now tear them the fuck down. That's unique to humanity. We're the only animals that as far as we know, we've studied, dude. We got some smart ass animal scientists out there looking at brains of monkeys and shit. As far as we know, that level of depth is only achieved by humans. And like, that's beautiful. Also means a lot of suffering. Anyways. But it's yin and yang, man. It's two sides of every coin, dude. We gotta hold both. What I wrote on my story the other day, especially when I did this MDMA experience, I wrote that I was like, in one hand, I was holding all the tragedies and injustices in the world, and in the other, I was holding the wonders and the beauty. I was feeling them both. Shit, anyways, let's get fucking high. I feel like I'd be rambling. You feel me, though? Be trying to spit. See, I be thinking. Why do you think I got all this forehead, bro? I, I be thinking, okay? To think is to be. Type V. To, I, to think is to... S pine cone. I got this at Vegas for my mama. Because she loves pine cones. Check this out. Isn't that kind of trippy? Is this trippy? <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I'm going to start working out now that I got my bald head again. One of the things about wearing a fucking wig is like... I, I couldn't really work out because I get all sweaty under it and like you leave that thing on for like a week at a time, bro. That glue is like strong as fuck. Like that shit ain't coming off. And so if I'm working out every day and just letting that marinate, you know what I'm saying? That doesn't sit right with me. That doesn't sit right with me. Elf bars, man, they're everywhere. They're everywhere, dude. I've been getting all the flavors. This blue Raz Ice is something serious though, rechargeable. Maybe I should turn the fan off and do some O's. Yeah, good idea, Gumby. It's 105 outside. Gotta do it for the content though, bro. Come on, let's have fun with the family. Shut up. What do you mean?
It is hot as fuck in Texas. This is me, man. It's crazy. It's crazy, dude. I feel like I look like a different person every year of my life. Like, I know people go through their, like, stages, but I feel like most people look like you know, relatively similar their whole life. I feel like I look back at my pictures every year. I'm like, who is that person? Like, I could be the fake Drew for all you know right now. I could have killed the real Drew. You know what I'm saying? I could be the clone, bruh. Yes, how can I get so much energy to such like a chill, meditative, fucking down tempo, and I'm just... <laughs> I just fucking love this man. Sammy, I love you. Ah, I need toilet paper. Just ran out of my roommates. Don't tell. Sorry, Barrow. Look, I'm literally about to go buy some fucking Charmin Ultra Soft and stock up your bathroom. Because I did run through two of your rolls. Dude, look how messy my shit is. Hey, man. Don't hate the play, I hate the game. What does that even mean in this situation? I'm sorry, okay? I have no, I have no explanation for this. It's just your, whatever's in your mental manifests in the external. Like, the internal will manifest in the external through your body, through your environment, through the people you're around, for real. ever get his ghosts find out in the next episode hey man thanks for coming i like how i'm just progressively stripping throughout this whole thing be getting hot bro i had to turn my ac off this weed got me sweating ac off because i gotta save that money on electric oh my god my worship dude i'll just find myself putting my hands up like when i was like going to church in high school and i'd be like this is my fucking worship, bro. Worship comes in so many different forms. As she wanna be. Where's the wind coming from? I can't get one ghost. I think about that girl. coming out for real i appreciate you showing up i'll see you next time all right leave a comment if you want more i'll keep posting sending love